Today I'm harvesting the spokes off this 24 inch wheel for Steve's HED wheel. Just to speed things up a little bit, I'm not going to show you the entire strip. I'll, uh, I'll put it in a uh, small window at the bottom. That way you can kind of see everything that I'm doing a little quicker. So right here I'm just trying to measure out the spokes. Usually this method works. It looks like it's about 236 and then we got to add 10 to 12 millimeters. What I'm going to do here is measure out the spoke with one of the dislodge spokes <laughs> from Steve's uh, HED wheel where he pulled the spokes right out of the flange. So it looks about right, um, but we never really know until we get the spoke out and check. Okay. From here, you would, you would gauge by eye and say, yeah, yeah, that's pretty close. Like, I would say that that's pretty close. Also, I'm going to introduce these, like, teeny spokes that uh, I kind of harvested out of a kid's wheel. And I'm going to use those to secure the nipples in the rim so I don't lose them. So right now, I'm just going to pull out one of these spokes, and it's not easy. <laughs> All right, finally, grab the spoke wrench, and I guess it should be known that this rim has no spoke holes, but we're gonna get a little more in depth on that in the actual video where I show you how to replace all the spokes on the entire wheel. So you just keep working at it until you get it. All right, so <laughs> aside from fumbling with the wrench, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm just uh, pulling the spoke taut and loosening the nipple from it. Keep going until the spoke comes right out of the uh, nipple. Now you want to take some care because you don't want that nipple springing back into the rim and then you lose it and it just becomes a, a bit of a pain in the butt trying to get it. So we're going to try to avoid that and that's the whole idea of taking my time here plus the, the little kid spokes. So we pulled one, we're just going to insert that little kid spoke there. Be careful, we don't want that popping back in. Mostly it's a time issue. It, it can be fixed, but we don't have all day. There we go. Nice and secured in the nipple. Can't get lost. It looks kind of funky too. <laughs> okay, that's what we're trying to achieve. So I'm just gonna try to bend this spoke straight, as straight as possible. These spokes actually at the J-bend, they stayed pretty pretty, uh, pretty J-bent. <laughs> they kind of stayed to the proper shape, but what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I have a decent set of uh, spokes to replace them. See, it was, it was hardly even bent. Okay, so now we're just gonna do the comparison here. And there we go. These guys are way too short. I, I could probably swing it, but it, they're gonna be too short. There won't, there won't be enough spoke engagement, and it'll just be very, very difficult to thread them into the nipples. <laughs> I finished off the strip anyway. Um, I'm not gonna be able to use these spokes. Complete fail, but I, I hope you learned something here that you gotta keep trying because sometimes you fail and sometimes you succeed. So feel free to ask questions, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the actual spoke replacement video.